with hopes of one day finding an honest job to help support the husbands and wives. These mothers and fathers from Saraga settlement have been coming here every morning from 8 a.m. to 12 noon for the last two months to learn how to speak and write in English without chairs, tables, blackboards and proper equipment to use. It doesn't stop them from learning and their teacher from teaching. Student Cecilia Kana, who first came up with the idea, says she has surpassed her expectation and is very happy. She says she left school in just grade two and has been looking for an opportunity like this. She says their teacher, Cecilia Isa, has taught them a lot in just a short time. She hopes one day she will find a job and help support her husband. Man woke me no in up long feeding me pla. At least me pla yet too much time sim legal survey all same lo pain him kind of some cleaner walk or this like kind. I am walking. Jumping next. Another student, Rachel Francis, said she attended school in a rural area and didn't learn much from her teacher. She was very emotional when she spoke of her family making fun of her because she couldn't understand and speak English. They want to criticize me now. They won't criticize me. I know the words and I know I can speak to them how I speak. So I want to say thank you for coming and see me with my tears of joy. Cecilia Isa, who is a retired teacher for more than 30 years, says teaching has been her passion and she couldn't just give it up. Miss Isa says teaching these adults has been a new experience for her and she was thrilled to pass on her knowledge to them. It's a, another new experience in the sense that I'm dealing with the adults and which gives me a lot more excitement to see how we adults think and you know, how we can approach ourselves in learning. And it makes it more exciting as well. Among the many mothers and young children, there was a father who was sitting right in front. Papa Yaga Pata was a landlord. He laughed slowly as he said he too was learning some English. <laughs> Area coordinator for Six Mile Saraga, Ward 4, Yagat Biori, says he plans to carry out programs like this throughout the Six Mile area so everyone can read and write English. Mr. Biori says he hopes one day the tent house used by the students to learn can be transformed into a standard classroom building where adult literacy is taught. So far, this school is not yet been registered through, and then um, um, our teacher is not on the payroll. Um, uh, I mean, it's a free, free helping the community. Since they, our teachers are free helping our community. Michelle Steven, National MTV News.